last year I uh, worked for a pack that was um, formed by Unite Here Local 11. Ada Brisenio is one of three co-presidents for that pack, and they separate themselves from the pack. We were the canvassers who um, circulated the petitions to get this legislation moved forward. So let me read to you this particular message. Democratic Party of Orange County. Dear friends, American women are facing adversity, including a lack of affordable health care and a loss of reproductive freedom in many of our red states. Just so you know, everybody who was employed by the PAC was not offered any health care options. We were not offered any health care options. We, and by the way, those of us who were injured on the job are facing, um, at least a couple of us, have been getting our treatment denied by the workers' comp adjuster that... Um, has been hired by the PAC to handle our cases, right? So I have not been treated since December. We're now in February and um, my injury is sliding backwards because I'm not getting any treatment anymore. We are fighting back on all fronts. I wanted to share a local victory with you from Orange County. Women fight for workplace safety. The city of Irvine recently made history adopting a hotel worker protection ordinance that combats workplace harassment and unsafe working conditions. Again, I was a team lead over the canvassers who were in the field circulating the petitions to get this legislation passed. We were put in incredibly unsafe working conditions. We were told to not rattle the gate to see if there's an animal back there. Try and find a way to slip into the building so you can knock on the doors. We had um, people have guns flashed at them. We had Nazis observe us. We saw domestic violence at the doors. I was bit by an attack dog. One of our um, canvassers fell downstairs and landed into a table has uh, damage to both of her legs, nerve damage to her back, and needs at least three surgeries on her right arm. Okay? Being denied treatment currently. Okay? The majority of the workers protected by the ordinance are women. Workers are, well, not just women, but they were, I mean, the majority of our staff was, the majority of, um, you know, here, Union dues paying members are also Latina or black. They're people of color, right? Yet the people that were getting promoted into team lead roles were predominantly white. Workers represented by Unite Here Local 11 successfully advocated for the ordinance last November. The reaction was swift. Corporate interests launched a voter initiative to kill the new protections and spent more than half a million dollars on the effort. And where did you spend the money? You spent it on that pack. That pack where you hired people from Craigslist or from referrals and you did not offer us workplace safety. You did not offer us health care. Clean your house. You know, I hear local 11 members with Democratic Party of Orange County allies. Oh, yeah, Deborah fucking walked for this. Uh, give me a break, Ada. Oh, my God, even. <laughs> I walked for, uh, let's see, October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months before um, I was injured, right? And then I had to greatly reduce my physical activity. Oh my God, even with this. 
you know, I, I get that you need positive PR, but what are you doing to clean up your own house? Working women and their allies in the Democratic Party of Orange County sprang into action, stopping initiative signature gathering at various locations. And oh, so you had a you had a canvas operation down there. You know, I got a call yesterday from a canvasser, a Unite Here canvasser, who's uh, looking for opportunities, looking for work. And um, it seems like y'all are not doing enough to actually present the opportunities to these canvassers who have loyally contributed to your campaigns. When the signatures were counted last week, initiative backers had come up short. The worker protections women fought to remain fought for remain in place women oh okay so you're saying that there was a signature uh they were trying to do uh si what stopping initiative signature gathering at various locations women okay how did they, like how? How did that even happen? All right. Women won this fight by standing together with their allies. Oh, really? Did you? Did you stand together with your allies? <laughs> what did Deborah do for this effort? <laughs> I destroyed my goddamn body for you guys. <laughs> what did Deborah do for this effort? Okay. Congratulations. Single payer health care discussion. One payer states OPS is an organization fighting for high quality, cost effective health care for all. Lack of affordable health care. Affordable health care. Are we sliding backwards? Impacts women in general and women of color in particular. OPS is holding a virtual discussion on Monday evening to talk about how to gain support for, from the labor movement. I will be one of the speakers in my role as co-president of Unite Here Local 11. Then why are you using your Democratic Party account? You literally told us when you were running for chair in 2018, 2019, that you would recuse yourself if there was any conflict of interest. You told us that when you were campaigning. I was at that PDA meeting when you said, if anything came up that was something that would affect your union, you would recuse yourself. And now you are completely using your position as chair of the Democratic Party to elevate your union and the union's position. Am I wrong in this? Because I am. I think my memory is pretty spot on of, of this. I'm not saying that what you're going for is bad, but I'm saying that there are a lot of hypocrisies going on here, and it doesn't seem like your intention is to actually do the right thing by everybody. It's to do the right thing by people who are paying you. I will share the discussion with Mark Dudzik, the national coordinator for the labor campaign for single payer, which advocates for single payer health care. The discussion runs from 5 to 6.30 p.m. The Zoom event is open to the public. Register here. I might. I might, I might actually sit in on that. We hope you can join us for this important discussion in unity. Out of Bresenio, chair, Democratic Party. Honestly, you should have just sent it out to the list with your business card that you've got down here below that represents yourself as co-president of Unite Here Local 11 because that would be more accurate than trying to use your position as chair of DPOC. When are you going to fix your canvas operations? 
and protect the people who are actually walking the blocks. When are you going to fix that? 